are watching F5 Web Media On Demand, and welcome to the F5 Technology Demonstration Series, or as we like to call it here, the Tech Demos, where we show some of the awesome features in Big IP from an insider point of view. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and today we're lucky to have Jose Gonzalez, who is a Senior Product Development Manager here at F5. Welcome, Jose. Thank you, Peter. So can you tell us a little bit about what a senior product development manager does? I basically focus on my daily work on the leading of the development of remote access clients for the big IP. These are clients that run on Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as mobile devices. So all of the end users out there that are requesting access to internal corporate resources. That's exactly correct, yeah. And so today, what are you going to share with us? One of the major features that we worked on was the development of uh, traffic shaping for outbound traffic emanating from uh, Windows devices such as XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. So let's get into it. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of activity here going on. So I see the browser-based network access tunnel connected there under status connected. I also see this ping in the back. Is that to represent the traffic from the client going out? Yes, that is traffic going inside the tunnel from the client to a server across the network access connection. And I see you made a note here on graph one. That's the black. What does that one mean? That is the IP traffic that we're seeing on Wireshark. Okay, and then the green represents? That represents TCP traffic, a, UD, a, a TCP stream. And then oh, the color blue is UDP, yeah? That will be UDP traffic. And so here I see you're going to be transferring a file over, a very large file it seems, an ISO. Yes, we're going to put that traffic across the tunnel and see what it does to our pings. Now, is that TCP or UDP traffic? That's that TCP traffic. Okay. And so now you see that our pings are getting less responsive now. Oh, yeah, and they're jumping all over the place. 634, 354, 576. And also in the Wireshark, there's a lot of big valleys. Yes, now we're going to start our IP UDP stream going from the client to the server, and let's see what it does to the to the traffic going inside the tunnel. Oh, that's the blue there represented, yeah? That's the blue, and it's starting to take over the SMB traffic because UDP is pretty hungry for bandwidth here. And so this means that there's no prioritization, right? There's no client traffic shaping between the UDP or the TCP. Everybody just grabs what they can get. Exactly, and you can see UDP grabbing as much as it can. And UDP would be like the voice over IP traffic and sometimes video and streaming media, those sorts of things, right? Yeah, that sort of traffic coming from the client to some, some server across the network access tunnel. Wow, that's really saturated, huh? It's, yeah, it's starting to take over the tunnel again. We just got to wait and see that we lost our TCP connection, our SMB traffic failed. So can you show us what it looks like with the uh, traffic shaping turned on? Sure, but let me show you first how we set this up on the big IP admin. Good idea. So basically here we go to the access policy under network access. We have our basically classifiers and we have our base class. Here we basically define our two traffic characteristics we want to deal with. First is the SMB traffic and we're going to set up the, the base rate. And we're going to go ahead and set the ceiling, which is the, the burst, uh, to the same as the base rate. We're mm -hmm. not going to allow any bursting of traffic here. Uh, we're going to use best effort. And we are going to get our mode. We have different modes, but we're going to use shape mode for this one. Okay. Now we're going to set up our traffic for UDP, the characteristics again. We are going to have 64 kilobits we'll have best effort as, as well. Our mode is going to be shaping the traffic. Okay, so you got, looks like two rate classes set up, and now we go to the, where's that, the classifier list, okay. And here we're going to define basically the policy of traffic characteristics. We're going to have traffic control one, we're going to just call it. We are going to create the the filters for these traffic characteristics. We have the ability to create the filters for um, here SMB which will use TCP filter and we can pick um, the source or destination or the port here we're just picking up the destination and we're going to pick um, our port 
and the destination address is, is the final destination for the client, right? In this particular case, yeah, it's the server that is going to be taking the traffic. Got it. So we've created the two classes, and now we're creating the classifier for those classes under the network access resource that would be assigned to the end user. Right. We're going to get to that. Here we're just showing the the filters that we can use, and we can apply the filters based on interface. Here we're going to create the UDP traffic filter okay. based on the traffic characteristic or rate class that we created before. Here's UDP. We're going to use the same server, IP address, and for all ports, we're going to define all ports here. We'll leave it as a wild card. Okay. And now we applied both traffic filters to the virtual interface or a network access interface, but we can also create filters for the physical interface or both interfaces. And so now we go back to the network access resources, right? Yes, and here we're going to pick the policy for traffic shaping that we want for this specific network access resource. Gotcha. And here you see... Client traffic controller. Classifier, I'm sorry, gotcha. Right and, and we choose the one we just made? Yes, and then we apply it. So we go back to access policies where we built where we built the policy. I think we're going to take a look at one real quick, aren't we? After this, sure. Click it and apply. We apply our and the flag policy goes from change. flag goes from yellow to green. That means it's active now. And so here's the policy you were referring to. Yes, here's one that shows basically that we can do different checks on the client, and based on the result of our checks, we can assign different policies. In this particular case, we're picking, for, for Windows, we have a network access resource at the top, and in there we can apply the traffic policy that we're applying for that specific machine, or, or group of machines, depending on the policy that you want to pick. Great. All right, so let's see what this policy does to the end user. What right. do we? So let's take a look at the client with traffic shaping turned on after this configuration. Okay, let's go. So we have here the same setup as previously. We have network access connection with uh, some traffic shaping rules that have been applied upon the establishment of the connection. We have the same thing going on the background here. Pretty much uh, the graph that we shown before with IP traffic, uh, TCP traffic, and UDP traffic. And we're going to start the file transfer now. Um, same file, right? Same file, yes. And you will see that for the most part, our ping stayed pretty consistent on the response time. Um, every once in a while, there'll be a blip here and there, but for the most part, you see consistency on the ping response because pings are getting through. And at the same time, you're starting to see that the traffic for the TCP connection is being capped at 128 kilobits. So now we're going to try to start the UDP stream here. Um, and That's we're here. going to cap it at uh, 64 kilobits. And let's see if it takes over the tunnel again. Okay. So the blue there again is the UDP. The green... Is our SMB traffic. Is the SMB and the black is the total. Is a total of both. And you and can so see there's a clear separation of traffic in this situation. That, that's right. And, and the milliseconds seem consistent, and everything seems to be flowing smoothly. Yes. We'll get our file through this time. Hmm. So specifically, this is actually shaping the outbound client traffic. So perfect for voice over IP or bulk uploads. We're also talking about a backup scenario. Yes, we actually have some customers that uh, they have the road warriors out uh, in the field where they are actually having a voice, a soft phone, and uh, they also have are trying to back up their PCs while maybe they're having a phone conversation. And so these help smooth the traffic such that uh, UDP traffic does not overtake uh, the TCP traffic. Wow, that's really interesting. Sweet, a lot of new cool stuff in the Big IP version 10.1, huh? Oh, yes. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Big IP Edge Gateway Client Traffic Shaping Technology Demonstration. So thanks for joining us today, Jose. That was really interesting. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> and so for Jose Gonzalez, this is Peter Silva signing off for F5 Networks. And visit us at www.f5.com.